Oh, bad. Are we there yet? Adventure time. So we are here in Sucker Creek and it is rain, rain, raining. Matthew, no, no, no. Let's not go down there yet, okay? Come on, let's go. All these green rocks. There's a lot of green rock here. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna have to cross this creek. Good job, guys. Found a little cave shelter. Cute. There's a bunch of poo in it. Woo. See poo. Yes, Isn't there right is. Curly? What did you guys find? Oh, you found another little cave. It's probably a mine. Someone was probably digging for something. Careful, Ellie. These rocks are slippery. Oh yeah. Well, good thing we brought flashlights. Come on, Dad. Give me mine. Okay. There's separate tunnels. Oh yeah, guys. This is a mine. Here. Mine. Guys, wait, 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 wait. Get your flashlight. Everyone, get your flashlight. Come here. Guys, listen. Listen to me. Come here. Baby mice. You know what? Watch for bats, guys. There might be bats along the roof. That's a dead one. And that is also a dead one. Move aside. Let me shine the light on it. Oh, you can't see him. They Here, went in the hole. They move. went in a hole. Look. Let me see your light. There's some little mice in here. Here you can see him down there. There he is. Oh, he's so cute. Don't touch him, no. Okay. He's not even I've never been this close to one. Aww, you're so cute. There's another little mouse. This is actually a baby. They're so cute. Yes. Aww. Little baby mouse. Okay, let's let his mom come back in and take care of him. He's going out. No, he didn't. He's right there. There he goes. That's a pretty cool little uh, mine. I mean, we can stay in the entrance if, if you I want. If was lost out here in the wilderness, I'd... Oh, there's the mouse. He just ran down the hill. It went in between those rocks. Yeah. Here, let's get out of his, his cave so we can come back in and take care of his little babies. You all right? That looks like it might be a cave up there. Let's just be extra careful with the wet. 
Yeah, there are some wild rose bushes in here. Pretty. <laughs> Very cool. Careful, Matthew. Wait for me to help you out. Yeah. It's a little slippery to be climbing up these rocks. I got you. A beer? Oh, guys, look at that. <gasps> Wait, let me see. Wow. That's a beautiful I rock. I can carry it. All right, Ellie. Here, take my hand. We're making our way up to another cave. Most of these caves are actually mines, amateur mines, that people have put together because Sucker Creek is one of those areas that has lots of mineral resources just because of the volcanic past of the area. It's a beautiful canyon. Let's do this one first. Let's go in the big one. Okay. Careful, Ellie. Don't just run inside. Let's get our flashlights out and time lapse. Shine your lights ahead. Yep, dead end. They must have been mining something out of it. Yep, here we are. That's the end of it. What do you suppose, what do you suppose they were mining out of here? I don't know. Who knows? Wait a minute. We were so curious what they were mining out of these holes that when we got home, we did a bit of research. That white rock in this image is what we think holds the answer. So according to the website mindat.org, which is an online mineral database, Sucker Creek was a past producer of zeolites. Zeolites are minerals made of silicon, aluminum, and oxygen that have a very special structure. Zeolites are microporous, which means they have microscopic holes. Imagine them like microscopic honeycombs, if you will. Because of their special structure, the zeolites are very useful in all sorts of things. In fact, you've probably been using zeolites in your own home. Zeolites are often used to soften hard water. They also can be used to filter ammonia out of fish tanks. They're used in fabric softener. They're also used in kitty litter to trap odor and liquids. And in industrial settings, they're used heavily as catalysts in chemical reactions. Zeolites occur naturally, like those at Sucker Creek, but they can also be synthesized in a lab. Who knew we were walking where such a useful mineral could be found? having a little lunch break here at the mouth of the cave. And we are protected by the rain. Yep, we're protected from the rain in here. You guys having fun so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah! I'd say this is pretty adventurous. Mm -hmm. The rest of our adventure was really fun, but as the day wore on, we all got pretty tired and very wet. You can't really tell in this video how much it was raining. We saw a few other caves, but they were way too high to get into. The scenery was always impressive though. This canyon was so breathtaking with its rugged beauty. 
Another highlight was that we were finding interesting rocks everywhere. This is one of the reasons we had come. Sucker Creek is known for being a rock hounding hotspot. We found agates, a huge hunk of red petrified wood, jasper, and lots of geode pieces full of quartz crystals. Even though it was wet, we loved every minute of it. Okay, everyone is pretty much exhausted. Except for me! Except for Matthew and wet. So we're starting to head back. This plant is called lamb's ear. It's extremely soft. Also uh, known as cowboy toilet paper. If you're ever stranded out in the wilderness, find some of this. Wouldn't mind wiping my uh, bottom with that. Okay, Ellie, come here. Alright, we made it back. That was pretty crazy canyon. Oh, let's get out of here. Alright guys, so how did you like Sucker Creek? <laughs> Had lots of fun. Saw lots of crazy caves, cool rocks. Got totally soaked. We'll definitely have to come back here and explore some more. We'll see you later. Are we there yet?